Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing Spider-Man 3. Um, so I haven't been posting in a while. I've just been busy uh, because uh, school. Um, but anyway, let's get into this review for Spider-Man 3. Now, Spider-Man 3 is directed by Sam Raimi, screenplay by Sam Raimi, Ivan Ra uh, Raimi, Ivan Sargent, story by Sam Raimi and Ivan Raimi. Uh, based on Spider-Man by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, produced by Laura Ziskin, Avery Agrad, and Grant Curtis, starring Tobey Maguire, Kristen Dunst, James Franco, Thomas Hayden Church, Tofu Grace, Dylan, uh, sorry, Bryce Dallas Howard, uh, James Cromwell, uh, Rosemary Harris, J.K. Simmons, and more. Some tall fee is from Bill Pope, edited by Bob uh, Morozowski, music by Christopher Young, production companies from Columbia Pictures, Marvel, Entertainment and Laura Skin, uh, Laura Ziskin Productions, distributed by Sony Pictures Releasing, released uh, May 4th, 2007 in the United States. Ran for 139 minutes. Budget for this movie is 258 to 350 million dollars. In the box office, it got 894.9 million dollars. Plot. Where is this? Right here. A year ago, after Otto Octavius. Octavius uh, Demise, Peter Parker plans to propose to Mary Jane Watson, who has just made her Broadway musical debut. While the two stage uh, stargaze in Central Park, a uh, meteorite uh, meteor lands nearby, and in it, in a, I can say that, an extraterrestrial symbiote follows Peter to his apartment by attracting to his moped. Uh, Harry Osborn, knowing Peter's true identity, seeks to avenge his father's her, his father Norman Norman's death, using his father's performance enhancing gas and green goblin technology. He battles Peter to a stalemate, hitting his head up and developing partial amnesia. Meanwhile, police pursue escape convict Flint Marco, who visits his wife and sick daughter before fleeing again, falling into an experimental partial. Alexor, uh, Ale I don't know what it's called, and that fuses his body with surrounding sand. He gains the ability to control sand and reform his body with it. During the festival, uh, honouring Spider-Man for saving Gwen Stacy's life, Peter kisses her to please the crowd, uh, angering Mary Jane. Simultaneously, Marco robs an armed truck and escapes after easily defeating Spider-Man. NYPD Captain George Stacy. Gwen's father informs Peter and his aunt May that Marco is Uncle Ben's true killer. Now oh, that just sounds good. That's cool. Cast Tom McGuire as Peter Parker slash by Matt Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane Watson. James Franco as Harry Osborne or New Goblin. Um, Thomas Hayden Church as Flint Marco or Sandman. Um, Topher Grace as Eddie Brock or Venom. Which... It's not my venom. I can't remember this. Bryce Dallas Howard is Gwen Stacy. God, she Gwen Stacy, jeez. James Cromwell is Captain George Stacy. Uh, and Rosemary Harris is May Parker. J.K. Simmons is George Jonah Jameson. And more. Development. In March 2004, Spider-Man 2 being released the coming June, Sony announced that Spider-Man 3 was already in development for release in summer 27, uh, 2007. By the release of Spider-Man 2, a release date for Spider-Man 3 has been set for May 2nd, 2007, before production on the sequel had begun. The dates were later changed to May 4th, 2007 and January 2005. Sony Pictures completed a seven-figure deal with a screenwriter Alvin Sargent, who had pinned Spider-Man 2 to script. Uh, Spider-Man 3 uh, with an option to script a fourth film. Immediately after Spider-Man 2's release, Ivan, Ra Ivan Raimi I was about to say Ivan Ryman. Ivan Raimi wrote a treatment over two months with Sam Raimi uh, deciding to use the film to explore Peter, learning that he's not in the signless uh, vigilant and that there also can be humanity in those he considers criminals. Harry Osborne was brought back as Raimi uh, wanted to conclude a storyline. Raimi felt that Harry would not follow his father's legacy but instead somewhere between. Santa was introduced as an antagonist as Raimi found uh, he is him, a uh, visually uh, fascinating character. While Sandman is a uh, petty criminal in the comics, the screenwriter screenwriters created a background of the character being Uncle Ben's killer. 
to increase Peter's guilt over his death and challenge his simplistic uh, perception of the event. Overall, Raymond described the film as being about Peter, Mary Jane, Harry and Sandman, with Peter's journey beginning, uh, begin, beginning, begin, begin, oh yeah, begin, or uh, one of forgiveness, forgiveness. Um, let's go, uh, uh box office, Spider-Man 300, 300, uh, sorry, 3, 136.5 million in North America and 558.4 million in other countries for a worldwide total of 80, uh, 894.9 million dollars. Worldwide, it, has, it is the third highest grossing film of 2007, the highest grossing film of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, and was the highest grossing film distributed by Sony slash Columbia until 2012's Skyfall. The film uh, set a worldwide single-day record of $104 million on its first Friday and broke its own records against on Saturday at $117.6 million. It also set a worldwide opening weekend record with $381.7 million. Uh, the film's IMAX screenings reached uh, $20 million in 30 days, faster than any 2D film remastered in their format. North America, speak. North America Spider-Man 3 is the 58th highest grossing film the third highest grossing film of the Spider-Man series, the third highest grossing film distributed by Sony slash Columbia, and the highest grossing 2007 film. The film sold an estimated 48 million, yeah, 48 million tickets. It was released in 4,000 theaters, about 10,000 screens. On Friday, May 4th, 2007, it set an opening and single-day record with 50... Uh, 500, no, sorry, 59.8 million. Both were first surpassed by The Dark Knight. That inclu this included 100, sorry, 10 million from Midnight Showings. Spider-Man 3 then set an opening weekend record with 151.1 million. First surpassed it by The Dark Knight, a record for the weekend per theater average with $35,540 $35, per theater. That's my thoughts. For Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3, when I when I last reviewed this movie, I hated it. I gave it a one star. When I rewatched it, yeah, I think it's actually a good movie. God, this movie has changed so much. Yeah, I, I don't enjoy this movie now. Um it's a really fun movie. It's a really enjoyable film. I that, that's what you like in a Spider-Man film. It's a, a very enjoyable, fun movie that I just had a blast watching. Spider-Man 3, it's not the best Spider-Man movie, nowhere, well, no way, but it is still, a, it's, it's, it's not the bottom for me, but Spider-Man 3, I just really enjoyed my time with this movie, I think it is a really entertaining film, and I think people should, yeah, watch, watch it if you're a diehard Spider-Man fan, um, but Spider-Man 3, it, it's a solid ending, uh, it's not the best ending, but it's, it's a solid ending. Uh, it's better than the Amazing Spider-Man ending, uh, but you know this the Amazing Spider-Man two. Uh, but I'll talk about that later on. But Spider-Man three, I really did enjoy this movie. I think Tobey Maguire did a fantastic finale, or maybe not finale in Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, but this movie is just fantastic. Not fantastic, but it's it's an entertaining film. That I did not grow up on this film. I might have watched it once when I was a kid. Oh, I don't know. But I'm like full on like watching like Kim watching it when I was little. That was Spider Man two. But Spider Man three was it's a good movie. I do enjoy this movie. I think people should definitely watch this movie. Well if you're a diehard fan of Spider Man. But anyway, my score for Spider Man three, I'm gonna be giving it a three point five to five stars. Percentage I'm gonna be giving it a seventy five percent grade, I'm gonna be giving it a B. And out of ten I'm gonna be giving it a seven point five out of ten. Before I finish this video, I'm just saying I might be doing my Spider-Man No Way Home trailer 2 breakdown. I don't know. It could be tomorrow. It might not. I don't know. When it'll be out, but it'll be out this week or next week. No, probably this week. But, yeah, it's keep out for the Amazing Spider-Man review tomorrow. And for next week's Spider-Man reviews, you get... What do you get for next week? The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and... We are Venom. Venom will be carnage. Yeah, I'm a terrible fan. That was a terrible impersonation, but I'm going to be carnage on Thursday. 
yes, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, with my Warner Bros. videos, uh, movies, not done, uh, but I'll still be reviewing the Matrix movies. I'll probably do it on like a weekly, you know, like one, one review a week for the Matrix. But yes, hope you enjoyed this review of Spider-Man 3. Please subscribe to my channel, it'll be a big help. Thank you for watching, take care, peace.